Hello, I'm Todd Kerpelman for The Developer Show, and this is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Over 50% of professional Android developers now use Kotlin. It's the fastest growing language on GitHub, and many new Jetpack APIs and features are going to be offered first in Kotlin. So to help you dive deeper into Kotlin, we're happy to announce a series of community-driven events focusing on the potential of Kotlin on all platforms called Kotlin Everywhere. To find out more about these events and how to join in, check out the details in the post. If you're building a progressive web app, you probably know that on Android devices, a Chrome system dialog called the mini info bar will appear at the bottom of the browser screen, prompting your users to install your PWA. While this can be helpful in driving installs, developers wanted more control around when they asked their users to install their app. So in Chrome 76, you can prevent that mini info bar from appearing normally and have it show up at a time of your choosing. To find out how, be sure to see the details in the post. At Google I.O. this month, the Android team announced dark theme support in Android Q, a system-wide dark UI mode toggled by the user. And the good news for all you Flutter developers out there is that the Flutter team already added support for the Android dark theme back in February, and you can enable it in your Flutter apps just by adding a property to your widget tree. Which property, you ask? Well, you'll just have to check out the post to find out. Kubernetes applications are enterprise-ready, easy-to-deploy, containerized applications that can run in any Kubernetes environment. The Google Cloud Platform Marketplace offers a wide range of solutions as Kubernetes applications, everything from databases to security to developer tools and more, with pricing agreement options designed to meet your enterprise's needs. So to find out more, be sure to check out the details in the post. Developer Student Clubs provide thousands of student developers around the globe the tools and opportunities they can use to grow as leaders, advance their skills in Google and open source tech, and solve real life problems. If you're interested in solving problems in your community through tech and would like to lead a student community with Google, you can apply using the link in the description below. Hey, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Todd Kerfman for The Developer Show. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next week. I know Kung, I don't know Kung. <laughs> <laughs>